What's going on everybody? It's Cam here at All Things Automotive. And today we have a 2020 Infiniti QX80. This is deluxe pack on this one. Um, and you can see how clean this thing is. 8,800 miles on this thing, so less than 10,000 miles. So we'll do a little walk around here to show you everything. But the first thing you notice is that big uh, chrome mesh grill with the Infiniti symbol in the middle. It looks awesome. Um, it also has all the park sensors in the front bumpers. You can see two right there around the plate mount a couple on the lower side as well big 20 inch wheels on this one also we got uh, Bridgestone tires in there the, the Bridgestone door HTs Bridge brand new brakes motors in there even calipers have no rust or anything on them look pretty much brand new um, one thing you will notice this does have the 5.6 liter V8 um, from Nissan in this so definitely the big motor awesome full-size SUV for sure um, does have the 360 sensors here in the bottom of the mirrors. Actually, that might be the camera as well. Um, so you can use 360 parking. Um, chrome door handles on this one. Does have the proximity buttons in there. Um, then you can see the, the profiled uh, running boards that match uh, the paint and everything on the vehicle. So take a walk around to the back. You can see underneath there, it does have the backup cam. Um, also does have the cover where the hitch would go. Um, this one might actually have the hitch. I just don't know how to take the cover off to look. Um, I do like this kind of uh, brushed stainless look on the back for the rear bumper. Um, also, you can see it does have all the parking sensors in the back as well. So, Up inside, first thing you'll notice is the uh, infinity symbol on the door jam is illuminated for the doors. It'll be nice whenever it's dark. Um, nice wood grain around the tweeters and the doors. Um, does have captain seats in the middle with a full center console storage in there. It does have a cover for your cup holders and everything. Obviously that's covered in wood grain as well. And then you can see um, USB plugins and stuff here, all plus uh, the air conditioning stuff. And then um, it does have an extra storage container right there in the back. So pretty nice. Obviously it does have third row seating. So I guess it wouldn't be obvious, but there you go. And you can actually see that the door hand or the handles up top, um, by the AC vents and everything still have plastic on them. So this is more or less like a new vehicle. Take a look at the roof. You can see it has the uh, rails for your roof rack. Um, just no cross boards, which obviously isn't a big thing. But you can see these ones actually haven't even been used. Um, no scratches on them or anything. We'll go ahead and hop inside here and I'll show you everything that I can fi figure out. Um, so on the doors, you'll see a couple presets for your seats, um, as well as all electronic controls for your windows, locks and mirrors does have an electronically adjustable seat. Um, it's the whole way up right now. We're gonna just put it down though, so I can fit in here, because I am a large dude. Um, over here, you have a rear hatch button, heated steering wheel right there, and then uh, your park sensors and everything, buttons right there as well. So, uh, oh, this is really nice on the inside. It's the first I've been one of these, so. Um, first thing you'll notice, the big illuminated screen. So start stop with the brakes. So we'll go ahead and just get everything pinged up here so we can make it light up. There we go. Yeah, that is sweet. Now all the drop downs plays and everything work. Um, let me actually go ahead and turn the air off. I can figure out how to do it. There we go. So all your controls here would be for this display in the middle. Um, see if I can figure out how it actually works. So it looks like this actually changes your display to wherever you want it to be. Um, some people like it on the trip and stuff like that or how much miles are left to empty, things like that. They're actually right there. As you can see, it has an audio control so you can look and see what's right playing on the radio. And then this actually looks like your navigation screen, which you can see it does have navigation up on the top screen as well. Um, but I'm guessing once you have a location set, it'll actually tell you um, where to turn everything like that. And it actually shows a 3D version of the vehicle, which is pretty cool. Um, right side of your steering wheel would be um, your parking sensors down here as well, and then all your controls up top. And then here are your wiper controls behind that side. So this one actually has two screens. So the bottom looks like this is all your settings for your radio and where you select for your navigation and everything like that. And the top actually looks like it might be strictly navigation. So um, down here, obviously, you can connect your phone if you prefer. Um, and then up the top part, it actually shows you where you can enter your point of interest or an address where you want to go and everything like that. Um, Hit the audio button here. Turn the volume down. So you can see all your radio sets and stuff here. It does have the capability for Bluetooth audio. Um, so you can connect, connect your phone and use your phone um, to talk 
hands free, um, Sirius XM, AM, FM radio, and things like that. Um, all your heated seats are controlled here by this button on the driver's side and the passenger side has one as well. And then this is actually the on off button for your air conditioning and everything like that. Um, so it does have temperature sense for both sides. So you can set your temperature for the passenger side as well as the driver's side, as well as all your presets for your fan speeds and stuff like that. So you can actually turn the fan up like that, turn it down um, where you want it to blow out of. And actually it shows up here when you click it too. So there you go. And it actually shows your temperatures too. So 60 degrees on both sides of where it's set right now. Um, does have, this is cool. So I, I really like this feature. So um, it has the mirror shown as a rear view camera. So you can actually flip this and it'll just show the standard mirror. Yeah, you see me there. Or if you flip it up, it will actually um, show you the display. Um, so it, it's pretty more clear, pretty much more clear and shows you a little bit more than what you may be able to actually see from your angles. So um, all your radio buttons are down below as well. Um, this is your volume pound button, obviously. You see it says volume and power right there. Your media button would be for your phone if you had your phone connected so you can click your, your Bluetooth music and things like that. Um, down below, it's a nice deep pocket there for a cell phone. It's actually lot, like felt lined so it won't scratch your screen or anything like that. It does have a 12 volt socket here um, that you can show, that I can show anyways for um, plugging in your cell phone and stuff like that, as well as it does have a couple USBs and stuff over here as well. So um, plenty of storage in this center console obviously. Um, plenty of room up front and then has a couple words and then it also can be hidden uh, with the wood grain covered there as well um, Map voice. This is all your presets um, So you can show how your splits and everything are on your screen um, Back button to get that to go away camera There you can see 360 camera and everything um, as well as the backup cam Take that off there you can go you can see looks like the drive or the passenger side view on the right hand side and then the full backup cam and then just the backup cam and then it takes you back to the navigation so one thing i do notice you can hit change view here as well and it'll probably just do it that way and you can turn off your parking sensors if you prefer so it doesn't make beeping noises um typically people like to leave it on so you know how close you are um down here is your four wheel drive selector obviously it does have traction control switch your tow hill old mode and then it does have a snow setting um with your four high um so you put in four high push this down and then switch it to four low Go ahead and just put that back to auto. Um, I showed you the, this part for the center console. Um, it actually opens from the back side. Um, take a peek up top. Uh, illuminated visor on the driver side and as well as the passenger side. Um, does have your sunglass holder up top. And then it does actually have a sunroof in this one too. Obviously this is your slider controls. Let's get it to open. We'll go ahead and just keep it closed. And then you would push this forward and it'll actually open it a little bit for you. So take a peek in the glove box you see it still has the plastic on all the factory books and then this white sheet over here is a safety checklist sheet that we fill out um, to make sure the vehicle is safe for you and your family and everything as such so um we're going to shut everything off here we'll do a final walk around um, we try to be as transparent and upfront about everything show you all the great features about a vehicle as well as any minor flaws it may have oh it's actually the steering wheel actually has wood grain on it too and then the rest of it's leather wrapped so that's nice i didn't see that before We'll go ahead and just do a little final walk around here. Take a look at everything. Start here at the hood though. I mean, it's a 2020 with less than 10,000 miles. So I'm 99% positive we're not gonna find anything. But out of my due diligence, we will show you anyways. Take a walk down. Here you can see mirror covers and everything look good. No door dings or anything. Roof looks phenomenal. See the top of the sunroof there. Around the back hatch. No marks or anything. This thing is so nice. It's actually the only the second one of these that we've had that I believe um, the other one was might have been an 18, but this is a 2020, so it's pretty much brand new. So there we go, guys. If you have any questions about this QX80, please feel free to give us a call at 717-485-4224. Sales extension is 1502. If you don't have time to give us a call, you can always look us up on the web at allthingsautomotive.com and request information about this car, as well as any other vehicle we have on our lot directly through our website. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and hope you have a wonderful day.